Hi team. Uh, in this Microsoft Fabric Master Program, in today's session, we will be talking about introduction to the Microsoft Fabric with a real-time use case. Okay. Let's consider there is an organization. It can be a financial organization. It can be healthcare. It can be a travel domain. It can be retail. Anything it can be right. So let's say they have different source systems. So they have some CSV files, JSON, text data. They have some databases. They have some Kafka, which is real time. There are different source systems from which they want to move data into the. Okay, so they want to move this particular data into the cloud database. Okay, so they want to move but this particular data into the cloud as a batch. Batch means. You collect the data for 30 minutes or one hour or one day or one week or one month or one quarter data and process it 10 months. That is called a batch. As soon as data is generated or received into the source, we are not processing. Instead, we are collecting all the data for 30 minutes or one hour or one day. We are processing that data. So as part of that, first we are storing that entire sales data. Then we are applying some data quality checks on top of it. Once we have applied some data quality checks like duplicates, nulls, etc., then you are basically uh, creating some aggregated layer on top of it. Meaning, I want to know the sales by week, by month, by daily. So once you created aggregated, then you will create the reports on top of it. Okay, this is one kind of a process that is happening in this organization, X organization. The other part of it is they have a live data which is coming from the some Kafka. Okay, so Kafka is getting a live data. So live data means let's say from the online store, they are like not store, right? So here store store data we processed as a batch. But online sales data, online means people are purchasing in online. So as soon as somebody has made a order, we are processing that order. Okay, and uh, is it a duplicate order? So order all the required details are available for delivering this particular order, like phone number, the proper address, house number, etc. There will be some kind of quality checks. And on top of this also we do aggregations and we create the reports. Okay, so generally uh, to do the real time processing, we follow a completely separate process because due to the lack of services which can able to do all these things, batch data processing, real time data processing, uh, like uh, as of now, so whatever we have is limited, right? So batch data processing, we are using a different schedules, different tools for connections. So live data, we are using different services for the processing the live data, different types of um, uh, schedules, different types of computations, uh, computational power or different types of tools that we are using to process live data and batch. Data. We also have a third vendor invoices. Vendor means third party will sell these but our products and they will upload the these events. See batch data means there is a fixed interval says everyday processing. So meaning daily data will come live data means as soon as the data is generated new person placed order it will come event based means they may upload a that invoices every day they may upload every week we don't know whenever something they uploaded we wanted to take that third party data apply same refund and apply aggregated layer and uh, creates the reports so there is a three different pipelines basically you need to create our uh, three different uh, processes that you have batch data live data event data you generally use the different uh, tools to serve all these kind of a requirement for the same company but now if you have a such kind of a requirement instead of using the different services to handle all your issues because you know right if you are uh, using the different uh, tools means managing if at all something goes wrong you need to contact the uh, one person if something goes wrong here, you need to reach out to the some other person. If something goes wrong here, you need to reach out to somebody else. So there is a mistake here. So you are going to basically check this particular layer, but this is in a different tool. So if something goes wrong here, you are going to check it in this particular process. This is a different tool. There is a challenge for business to manage the tools from the different vendors. The I request all of you to remember this is a key term. The companies facing a big problem the problem is managing the tools from different vendors how we can able to resolve this problem is let's analyze a like problem statement in detail let's say a company in the healthcare industry or financial or travel domain or retail was struggling to manage and analyze their big amount of data vast amount of data so they needed a solution that could handle their data movement meaning data 
move from one source system to another source system data engineering apply some kind of engineering on top of it to create some reports right so, so analysis can be like join tables then apply group by then calculate some average and so on right data integration means connections to the different source systems we have a struggle to connect to the different vendors or tools right so maybe each vendor will maintain a different type of connection we have a struggle to integrate with the different services that we need to integrate connect data science means so basically once we collect all the data we apply analysis and uh, creates the reports data science reports talks about the future what is your what will be your business in next five years ten years there is a prediction analysis real-time analytics means in real time is there any fraud is happening okay so what products you can recommend to your customers whatever product is purchasing uh, x product is purchased the customer then you can also recommend the y uh, y product like that real time analytics will help you to do some recommendation systems and fraud detection business intelligence means you need to compare your historical data with the current data to say that how you are doing your business in the past how you are doing your business currently next so these all things so they need a solution to do all these reporting okay so this company also wanted a solution that was easy to use did not require them to connect with the different services from multiple vendors okay after researching various options they decided to implement the microsoft fabric why microsoft fabric so that's where we need to understand the problem the challenges with the customer is the let's highlight again the three challenges with these customers the customer is facing three problems the first problem is managing and analyzing huge amount of data <laughs> because uh, as the data comes we need to have a storage system right which can able to keep that much data if your storage is full means you need to order it the extra storage that takes some time to come again you will load the data there is a problem right so managing analyzing vast amount of data is the first problem second problem is need for complete analytical solution complete uh, analytical solution means they want to do a data engineering like business intelligence reporting data science reporting real time analytical reporting everything they want at a single place next difficulty in connecting with the different services from multiple vendors yes. to do the real time data processing live data batch data and uh, event based data we need to follow it we need to use a different tools and services yes we don't have a single service which can help us to do all these things so these are the problems that this customer is facing so what is the solution as i mentioned company implemented the microsoft fabric what is microsoft fabric remember the company implemented a microsoft fabric just think of a microsoft fabric is a all in one analytics when you are reading when you are studying btech or normally in the 10th standard or whatever we have a something called all in one meaning all the subject data will be kept into a one book you no need to carry a lot of books right you can just carry one on all in one which basically has all the subject details you can just bring that particular all in one to do everything instead of bringing a physics math science uh, some kind of a hindi english telugu kannada like like that instead of handling these many books we can use a all in one book to handle all these things similar to that microsoft fabric is an all in one analytical solution for enterprise that covers everything from data movement moving the data applying the data science to understand future of your business to understand is there anything going wrong in the current uh, cu currently in the business using real time analytics business intelligence which is basically to understand is it gro growth is uh, are you growing in your business or you are not growing in your business if you compared with the last five years three years of your uh, previous uh, history of your business right so all these things we will come to know so all to do all these things we have a all-in-one that is a microsoft fabric you i am repeating again so microsoft fabric is an all-in-one analytical solution for enterprise that covers everything from data movement to data science real-time analytics business intelligence everything we can do here next fabric offers a complete suits of services including data lake for uh, storing your data that is called a one lake in the fabric data engineering yes all the reporting whatever is required so all the engineering on top of the data like as i mentioned joining grouping averaging 
right so applying data quality before you do everything data engineering things you can do and data integration it has a lot of connectors you can directly connect with all of them you no need to worry about how to connect that base okay so there are different ways you can able to connect to any of the things okay so all in one place all these connections all these uh, data managing the data at one place sorry managing all the data at one place engineering and apply uh, integrating everything you can do it in a one place so with the fabric the company no longer needed to connect different services from multiple vendors so we can able to simply use the microsoft fabric to connect to the different services from the single vendor so company enjoy a highly integrated end to end easy to use product that was designed to simplify their analytical needs yes this company is very happy after using the microsoft fabric as they are able to do everything with the same service called a microsoft fabric which is from the same vendor if something goes wrong you can directly ask them hey this is not working that is not working they will help you to do so you no need to contact multiple people so there is a single point of contact who will be helping you to do your complete analysis so microsoft fabric brings together new and existing components from power bi azure synapse azure data factory into a single integrated environment earlier we are learning azure data factory azure synapse power bi all these things separately now everything is at a single place that is a microsoft fabric so this is going to be the one of the powerful service which is going to be used in the industry going forward okay so benefits of using this microsoft fabric if you see comprehensive analytical solution complete analytical solution at a single service called microsoft fabric it is very easy to use because it is a saas service saas means let's say you are using a gmail do you know where our data is storing what is the compute power that we are managing in the back and no you are just using you are sending a mail if your friend says that hey i send a mail did you receive yes i received the mail so meaning you just have to easy you are just using you are not configuring anything that's why microsoft fabric is not a pass service like our azure data factory or synops or data bricks it is a saas service more things will be managed by microsoft your work will be very easy to use highly integrated we have a lot of connectors to integrate and end to end solution everything you can do it at the same place streamlined operations yes we have a different um, processes that we will follow in order to streamline that entire operations right robust security and complaints yes security complaints also we are going to control at a single place we no need to have okay so batch data processing different tools we are using different security no everything is at one place one security comprehensive analytical solution at a single place that is a microsoft fabric okay so query designer if you see this is how the query designer will look like in the microsoft fabric i'll explain to you going forward in the labs so fabric home page will look like this so when you click on the like if you see here we have power bi data factory data activator which is basically response whenever you upload a new data it will immediately respond synapse data engineering you have synapse data science synapse data warehouse it is similar to our dedicated sql pool okay so real time analytics you can able to do so if you see down you have something called microsoft fabric if you click on that automatically it will display what you want to do you want to do data engineering you want to go and create some pipelines data factory pipelines whatever you want to do you just have to select the respective one and you can do the things okay that's all team if you have any questions i request all of you to put your questions in the comment section i am going to help you so i request all of you to subscribe my youtube channel to get more updates on the microsoft fabric thank you